Hello and welcome to tutorial 129 in this series of tutorials and programs talking about TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, in this tutorial, I had a customer who was asking, how could you go about using TradeStation to screen a number of stocks for two conditions in two separate indicators? And a great tool for this is the scanner in TradeStation. And uh, what I'm going to do today is to demonstrate how we do this, looking for crosses either oversold, overbought in the CCI, Commodity Channel Index, and at the same time, stocks that are also had a zero cross in the MACD difference. And uh, I'll just show you the two programs. These are basically standard programs that I'm using. I haven't made a slight modification to the uh, the MACD program, but nothing of any great import. And uh, you can, if you look at the uh, the CCI program, you'll see that uh, if the alert is enabled, then if you get a CCI crossover oversold or a CCI uh, CCI cross under overbought, then we're going to get an alert. the The MACD you'll see that the uh, the MACD difference, which is equal to the uh, the difference between the the MACD and the MACD average. If that crosses over the zero line, alert is enabled, then we also get an alert. And I've added a little print statement here as well, which we'll look at in a moment, but essentially it's exactly the same program. So let's go to the scanner and see how we go about creating a scan. And uh, probably the best thing is just to uh, do a new scan. So let's call it tutorial 1292. It's going to move this up where you can see a little better. So given it a name, it then takes us through a list of things to determine what the scan does. And the first one is the symbol list. And uh, what I'm going to do is use the NASDAQ. Uh, clearly here, if you wanted to add other indexes or stocks, or you could use a custom symbol list as well. We'll talk about that a little bit more later or also manually add symbols. We have the criteria. Now there's a whole bunch of things you could do here in terms of referencing price and volume. And uh, what we're going to do is look at the indicators. So I select indicator and the first one we're going to look for is the MACD. And what we're going to be looking for here is the alert. And when the alert is true, then we want this thing to return uh, results. Now, if we click here on the little plus, we get the opportunity to make some modifications. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to do this on a 60 minute chart. And uh, I'm going to leave that at 200 for the moment. We can compare, compare the values against the chart later on. And uh, say finish. And uh, just going to go back to that. I haven't quite finished. So just going to click format. And uh, Go back to the scan criteria and we need to add another scan and that is going to be again for an indicator but this time for the commodity channel index and we also need to modify that and what we're going to do is actually look for the uh, the cross oversold overbought on a 30 minute chart just to demonstrate we can be looking at two totally different uh, Time scales. I'm going to change that to 200 as well. I'm going to leave the settings as they are, but what we're going to be looking at here is the alert again, and we want that to be set to true. Now, if we wish to, we can schedule this. So we could say we want to run it every so many minutes or daily or weekly, etc. The other thing we can also do is save the results to a symbol list, what I'm going to say is automatically create a custom symbol list based on the scan results. And uh, we'll call that a similar name to the, the scan and uh, leave that create symbol list every time scans run. And we could also set up the notification, which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to say OK. And uh, having done that, we've got a new scan. We're going to run it. So let's uh, click run. You'll see that it's retrieving symbols and it's going to go through and do the calculation for all these uh, all these symbols and then tell us one where the uh, these two indicators have had alerts now the other thing i've done here just while we're waiting is i've connected uh, the uh, scan the symbol connections and on these two charts one of them 
I've got the, the MACD applied and the other I've got the CCI. So the same one that we're doing a 60 minute scan, I've got the, the MACD and the, uh, the, say, the, uh, the one where I've got the 30 minute scan, I've got the CCI so that they are the same as in the scan. Now there's several things to watch for with scans. Uh, one of those things is that I'm doing this, the markets are closed and uh, so the scan runs on closed bars. So if we had another bar developing, the scan wouldn't be looking that. It would have the last closed bar in terms of finding a result. So you could have a situation where the cross uh, didn't occur on this bar, it occurred on the one before if we were looking at a live situation. There are also a number of other uh, limitations. For example, you can't have an indicator that refers to data one and data two with the scanner, that would give you an error. So you'd probably have to try and use something like a price series provider to provide information on another symbol. And uh, I put a few other uh, notes on this in the program on the uh, tutorial page and you can find that at markplex.com. A couple of other things to mention that caused me some confusion, and that is with the charts, make sure that you say format symbol and make sure that for bar building, that this is set to session hours, so it will uh, agree with the scanner. The other thing that's actually quite important, uh, which we, we've already done, is make sure that you load enough bars for the calculation to take place. This is similar to a uh, radar screen in that you do need to load additional bars for certain calculations. It's probably also worth mentioning, I probably jumped a couple of steps, that uh, if you want a scanner, you go new trading app window and uh, you would find the, uh, the scanner uh, option there, as you can see. Um, here and uh, I'd already done that before the uh, before I started the tutorial okay so the scan has completed and uh, as I said if I just click on one of the symbols you'll see that reflected on the chart so let's just uh, perhaps look at another one and uh, let's just verify that uh, there has been a cross so you could see there's been a cross there well it looks pretty close but uh, and then if we go down here you'll see that it's actually a little difficult to uh, to show you let me just make that a little bigger and uh, so you'll see the MAC diff there is green and the MAC diff before is red indicating that there has been a cross and uh, if we look here the CCI um, 97.32 and before that 100.52 so there has been a cross there so you could just see that if you just go through the results now also if we go to our scan and format it, and uh, we asked it, if you recall, to automatically create custom symbol lists. So if we go back to our symbol universe, we could see if that uh, list has actually saved. And there you go, you can see that uh, TUT129-2, and that would give us the symbol. So we could, for example, just quickly verify, if we just turn off the uh, all, NASDAQ say okay I don't think you can see that but it's going to run this again and now we're just looking at 19 symbols and you'll see that quickly goes through those 19 symbols and shows you the same results the other thing that uh, you may have noticed is I included in the MACD a small modification to print to a file uh, the information of the crossovers and if we go to my hard drive and we double click on this, you'll see that we have the information there of the uh, the symbols and they should line up with the results on the scanner itself. And uh, in fact, we were just looking at BOCH just a moment ago. Okay, so there's a very quick introduction to the scanner and how we could uh, look for two different indicators on two different two different timescales. I hope that was useful. Please, if you do have questions, feel free to send them to me. Uh, obviously, I would give priority to Gold Pass members, but uh, it's good to, uh, to have a list of things that people are interested in. Thank you. Hello, and I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful to you. Please, uh, if you did, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please also subscribe to the email list at Mark plex.com where you will also find uh, a great number of free tutorials quick tips 
and programs and also consider joining Goldpass. Goldpass entitles you to discounts, to more structured training materials and also an increasingly large number of materials on the site that have Goldpass material embedded in them. And uh, if you're interested in Goldpass, just go to the site and click on Goldpass membership and then you'll be able to see more details.